Got a really good show lined up for you today. You're going to get to see Cole Twinkle Toes Conley. That's right, Twinkle Toes. That's his official name because before he became a professional carpet floor and upholstery cleaner, Cole was a bowler. Matter of fact, his first day at A1 Carpet Care, he showed up wearing bowling shoes, which he still has not lived that down. So we call him Cole Twinkle Toes Conley. You're going to get to see him stretch two rooms, power stretch, for the first time ever, he's done several with the knee kicker, but today he's going to get to learn how to do it the right way with a power stretcher. Pretty much does it completely by himself. There's a couple times I step in to help him out. I'm going to do that fast pace with some voiceover. And then, the best part, you get to see what I've been eating for breakfast for the past several weeks. No, it's not steel cut oats like I used to do. This is a very, very special uh, smoothie I make every single morning with a bunch of superfood ingredients. You're not going to want to miss out. Mash the thumbs up, leave a comment below of your favorite part, and, and don't forget if you haven't done so yet, we would love it if you could subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. <music>
the carpet all along that wall and then towards the bathroom about three or four feet uh, down the other wall and then of course set up the power stretcher in this case we did have to extend the power stretcher a little bit longer than normal and you can see here Cole went ahead and uh, used the power stretcher to gauge again gauge about how much carpet was going to need to be trimmed off but once we had a good idea of about how much carpet needed to be trimmed off Cole went ahead and or I'm sorry not Cole I should I should call him by his official name Twinkle Toes went ahead and trimmed off it was about I don't know a quarter inch maybe half an inch of carpet not a whole lot but enough to basically get those wrinkles out when we went ahead and power stretched it so once he removed all the excess carpet you can see here he used the knee kicker to put the carpet back down uh, between the tack strip and the baseboard and then went through with the power stretcher and was able to tighten that up um, all the way down starting on one side and working his way all the way down the, the wall there and again I did have to help him out a couple times because he hasn't really used the power stretcher uh, nearly as much as he's used the knee kicker up to this point so here I was kind of showing him a couple little tricks but overall he pretty much did this job pretty much by himself um, again, there's Angela, you can see off in the corner, um, enjoying herself on her phone, uh, or supervising as we like to call that. So this job took us about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And if I was doing it by myself, I probably could have done it in about 15 minutes. And, um, but needless to say, Cole, like I said, he's, he hasn't done a whole lot of this, but this job was a hundred and $95 to stretch it. And I believe we charge $165 to clean the two rooms. Well, actually, no, I think 125 to clean the room. And there's my beautiful wife. Breakfast time. Beautiful deep divers, and we ain't even had breakfast yet. This morning we have a very special episode. You get to watch me make my breakfast. This came recommended by Mr. Peter Gregg. Well, actually, he said, I think he said lunch. But step one, introduce you to the Vitamix. Highly recommend this piece of equipment. We've had it for a couple years. Um, every vegan's best friend. Get you one. Next, we have pea protein, amla powder, spirulina, flaxseed, a couple other things. Hold on one second. Every single day, yes, every single day, all this stuff. So basically I've boiled it down to a teaspoon and a tablespoon, with the exception of my amla powder. The amla powder is extremely bitter, therefore I do one heaping quarter teaspoon. Any more than that, and yuck, not going to taste good. Heat protein, I just do one heaping tablespoon of pea protein here. Black seed, I do one tea, one tablespoon. I'm sorry, I might have said teaspoon on the pea protein. I meant tablespoon. One heaping tablespoon of the pea protein. Black seed, tablespoon. Spirulina tablespoon. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot, but it's really, really good for you. Now, when this showed up, there was a hole in the bag, so it went everywhere. <laughs> Made a big mess. So next we have, I'll start with this one here. This is beetroot powder, and obviously that originates from the root of a beet. I just do one heaping teaspoon of this. Next we'll do cayenne pepper. This is organic. I don't know if that really matters, but for this one I usually do about a half a teaspoon. Not super accurate on the measurement of this. But cayenne pepper is supposed to be really good for you too. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's G-O-T-U. K-O-L-A powder. Don't even know. Go to cola. Go to cola powder. I don't know. 
one heaping teaspoon. And where did I learn um, about all this, these superfoods? Uh, a guy named, I think his name is David Wolf. He goes by avocado, that's his nickname. He always wears a poncho and if you think I'm a little bit weird, he makes me look pretty mild. The next one is this, I think it's mesquite powder. I'm not sure exactly, kind of sweet. He heaping teaspoon of this as well. This one is called Lacuma powder, L-U-C-U-M-A. We also do a teaspoon of this. And then we do Reishi mushroom powder. Got to do a, t a heaping teaspoon of this, very heaping. And then we do cinnamon. This is just regular old McCormick scent, ground cinnamon from Walmart. Probably should do a better one. I do about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of cinnamon. And then I do, this is wheatgrass powder. And again, all of these superfoods that I'm putting into my, my little morning smoothie here are available online. Um, if I was smart, I would have put, I would have gotten them all from Amazon and put links in the description below, but I bought them from eBay instead. So this one is called B-A-C-O-P-A -A, Monier Leaf. Bacopa monier leaf. Don't even know how to pronounce it at all, but had to have it. Once I learned about what it does and how it does it, had to have it. Teaspoon, well, heaping teaspoon-ish. Next is, ooh, chlorella. Very, very powerful powder here. We're gonna do an entire tablespoon of chlorella. Maybe a little bit more than that. Very green, very, very, high in antioxidants. Next is going to be the goji berries. Now this one here, I just do like a handful, maybe about like that. And these are just dried organic goji berries. And then the next one is raw cacao or chocolate. And these are called nibs. And I usually just grab a handful of those as well. Now, if you're thinking at this point that this is not going to taste really good because of the combination of different items, you're absolutely right. This tastes horrible, but it's very, very powerful and healthy for you. So next I get a glass and I fill it up with coconut water. I don't fill it all the way up, but almost all the way up. So I take this coconut water and I dump it in here. Cheers and thanks for watching. Just want to bring up the point real quick that this stuff is so thick that not only I don't want to waste a drop right so, so I actually fill up my cup you can see me here in the corner doing this I fill up my cup I dump it in, back into the Vitamix pitcher put the lid on lick my finger and I kind of slosh it around in order to get all that thick delicious superfood off of the side it's not delicious at all actually and then I pour it back into the glass and I chug an entire another glass of, and it's not nearly as bad this time because it's watered down. That way I don't miss a drop. I don't waste any of this stuff. And um, 
yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Don't forget to mash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more delicious vegan cooking recipes and, of course, cleaning videos. Who can forget those? Hashtag 7 Day Vegan Challenge. The cat down the road told me to tell you.